Hello Floss Tube. it's Kippy, the Academic Stitcher. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel. Uh, for those of you who are coming back, thanks as always. I appreciate you viewing, uh, liking, commenting, uh, all the great stuff. For those of you who may be new, thank you for stopping by. This is a channel about mostly cross stitch. Um, occasionally and today um, I have a little bit of quilting um, we talk about just everyday stuff and uh, get to know one another better. So uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, it's a little hot out today. I, I think I've said before, I started out recording in my house. Um, but the lighting for recording is not the best. And so it's um, the back porch works a whole lot better. Um, it's actually incredibly warm today. It's like 90, high 90s. Um, but very dry, so it doesn't feel quite as hot. But it is getting to be um, mid-spring in West Texas, and it just just gets warm. So uh, that's part of life. Um, I, I lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for 20 years, and while there are a lot of great things there, and I left a lot of friends when I left, um, I don't miss the humidity. It is dry here and it can be 99 degrees and only feel like 94 instead of 99 degrees and feel like 110. So, uh, love West Texas. So, anyway, I do have something to drink out here with me today because it is dry and pretty hot. Um, but I wanted to spend today, most of today, talking about my mania starts. Um, this is the first time I've ever participated in Mania. I've had a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get all of these things done. Um, I've been neglecting um, a lot of my other starts, but uh, that's okay. There'll be lots of time to, to make those up a little bit later on. I've been able to start some things that I'm really, really liking. Uh, and had had on my list for a while, so I'm very excited about that. I have a little bit of haul. Um, actually, I think I have more, but uh, my craft room right now is uh, just a disaster. Um, and so uh, I grabbed what I knew I wanted to show you and um, show you the rest later, I guess. Um, okay, so let's just get down to it. Let's talk about mania. I've actually, today is May 18th, and I've been able to start all of the things that I planned, except for one, and that was on Mother's Day, and my kids were over all day, and, you know, I was tired afterwards, and I just didn't want to start that one, so that's okay. I can start it later, but everything else I have started. Um, so my very first start was... Free Betsy by Bent Creek. This comes as a little kit, um, and I did. I went ahead and used the, um, the the floss and the fabric that was in the kit. Um, here we go. So got the little thing that's on her back. Got it started, and I, I like this. This is a nice, um, high quality fabric. Um, I'm guessing it's a Lugana, something similar to that. Um, in fact, it may tell me. Let's look and see. Um, 25 count Dublin Flax Linen. Okay, so it looks like more like a Lugana, but it says it's linen. So, and this is the way it all comes. All of the flosses are in these, sorry, individual packs with the numbers and such on them. So, that will start number one. Start number two was Madame Chantilly, O Christmas Tree. And I used, and I have... Uh, all of my, uh, the fabrics that I showed you last time, I'm doing it on different parts of each one of those, so I have to, 
I hope I can do this without confusing everyone, including myself. But this is what I have done. So far, just the front of the little red truck. Um, I am not using the call for red. Um, I, I wanted it a little bit darker. Um, I'm actually not sure. I didn't bring it out here with me. Um, so I'm not sure what color that is, but it is not the called for. It's a little bit darker. Um, this is some of the 40 count mallow linen um, that um, I got from 123 Stitch and dyed. So I'm very happy with that one so far. In fact, I'm going to be starting uh, what I'm starting tonight. I think I'm going to be doing on that one. I'm not absolutely sure. And that is, uh, just in case you were wondering, those stitches are pretty tiny, but I am doing one over two on that one. Okay, start number three. Priscilla's, Priscilla and Chelsea's trucking along June. Love this. This is the only one I'm doing on Ada. And honestly, I kind of wish I had started it on uh, some of my dyed fabric, but I didn't have it close to me. <laughs> That's so lazy. I didn't have it close to me when I was ready to start and I had the Ada was right there. I think it was actually out of one of the jar, uh, chalk, uh, chalk full jars uh, kits from that quarter shop. Um, and it was just there, and I know it's plenty big to, to do both of them, so I just started it on that, but, um, here we go. Those little strawberries, oh, yeah. So, trucking along, start number three. Start number four, Acorn by Bent Creek. Okay, here is where I'm going to have to start searching for the different ones that are all on the same piece. And this one is pretty simple. All right, got, got some of that one done. I am not using the called for um, floss on this one. Um, if you look, <clears throat> to me, it looked like the letters, these small letters down here were more of a gold color but the call for was kind of a light green. And so I darkened the green up just a little bit. Honestly, I kind of wish I'd been a little more creative and gone with gold. So I may end up taking that out and redoing it. Um, but the call for, let's see, the call for is DMC 730. And that was, that was a green. So... I don't know. We'll see. I really like the chart, but I'm not sure I like the green letters. We'll see. All right. Start number five was the Trick or Treat Stocking from Tis Halloween by Blackbird. That one is also on this piece. And this is, by the way, this is um, Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco. So it's 28 count. Just got some of the letters done. And actually, this is showing up on the screen a whole lot lighter than it is in real life. It's quite a bit darker than that. So, oh, I guess I'm going to have to keep that around, I think. Yes, I am. All right. This is start number six. This is Patriotic July Stockings by Blackbird, and I'm doing this one, the Sawtooth Stars, and I'm doing this one on some of the plaid Lugana from Fat Quarter Shop, um, and again, this is coming out, it's showing up a lot lighter than it is in person. It looks a lot more coffee dyed, tea dyed in person 
this one though, this one won't take very long to finish up. I got it about halfway finished. So I guess if you bring it maybe back here, you can see a little bit more. This is actually just a leftover piece from something else that I was working on. Um, and I actually have some on the other side that I'll be able to do another one. So Patriotic July stocking. The next one was, oops. Madame Chantilly. Let's see, what's the name of this one? Freedom, sorry, Freedom. Right now, I think I'm just going to do the watering can, the vine, and the flag. I'll decide when I get that done if I'm going to do the little mouse, but I may do him separately. Just not sure on that. But the best part about Mania is I've got lots of time to think about it because it'll be a little while before I get back to this one. Okay, so the watering can uh, is what I started on. This is 32 count, I uh, started out as white Lugana, um, and this is writ dyed with taupe. And so I was able to get a little bit of that done. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, no, this is not, I'm not using uh, what it looks like on the cover of this one, it looks like, does that not look like um, fancy floss to you on the watering can? Look at all the variegation there, but it doesn't call for fancy floss. Um, I'm using this red, sorry, I don't want to crinkle in your ear, I think it's 816, um, but I just decided to use that uh, rather than Rather than fancy floss, again, it was convenient. I had something else sitting there, and I, that's what I chose to use. Um, so, as I went, you know, I was kind of stingy with my fancy floss for a while. And then I thought, why am I doing that? <laughs> why, why, what am I saving this for? Let's use it. You bought it? Let's use it. So, uh, Madame Chantilly, Freedom. Now, I know this says nine on it, but it was actually my eighth start. Um, Liberty Parade. This uh, was from the uh, premiere issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And I love the little blackbirds. So cute. And again, back to my piece of coffee tea dyed Monaco. Liberty. Okay, I've learned so much from Priscilla and Chelsea, but one of the things that I have fully embraced is stitching different projects all on the same piece of fabric. So yeah, I've got four different things going here. You know, that just, I just really like that. I don't only have to keep up with one of them now. Well. I mean, one of them for four projects. But, <laughs> um, I like that. Now, I haven't, but that means I can't necessarily put a project in a project bag, or put this, the fabric in the project bag, unless, you know, after I get past Mania, if I'm just working on one thing, I can do that. But I just, I like having one big piece, rather than all the little pieces. I've learned so much from Priscilla and Chelsea, but that was one of those things. Okay, start number nine. And I've got this in here upside down. Summer Salt Boxes by Plum Street. Oh my goodness, I really, really like, like these so much. I'm going to stitch them all as one. I'm going to stitch both as one. But this, the white all the way around, that is an, actually a stitched border, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do all the inside part. Here is what I've got started on summer salt boxes. I've, 
again I'm not doing the white border and I just started filling in around the little sheep and again this is some of the uh, plaid Lugana 30c count from that quarter shop this one um, I also a coffee tea dyed and this one is quite a bit darker than it is showing up I don't know if you can see it more that. that just not going to show up as dark as it actually is but summer salt boxes I love that plaid um, you can you can rit dye it and coffee tea dye it of course you can use it plain um, I don't know I just like that plaid um, in fact I bought a whole yard of it so just if you watch me much you'll see it quite a bit okay as we continue on this one is I'm gonna take this one out because I've got all the thread in front of it Lady Liberty by Blackbird right now I am just doing the flag and all of the vine around it and I'm going to uh, make it into a pillow well, that's my plan right now make it into a pillow for the bowl on my coffee table and again I am using the Lab Lugana and this is the bottom border I'm trying to remember if I'm using the called for on this one or not I'm not sure if you're interested I can I can go back and look at my Instagram because I think I put it all on there when I posted it whether or not I was using called for for my own conversion I think I think that's my own conversion though. okay next up is be not weary and well-doing I'll take this one too. there we go that's better be not weary by hands to work that little chocolate bunny so cute there's actually another one that uh, has been reprinted where it's a little a little um, vanilla bunny so you got a vanilla bunny and a chocolate bunny and that one I'm doing the border starting out with the border this is um, This is the Lugana. This is the dyed Lugana again. Taupe, I believe, is the one this one is. Oh, so much. I'm so excited about this. This, who, you know, I really did not know if I was going to be able to do all these starts, if it was just going to be too overwhelming. So far, I'm loving this. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't uh, because it'll take me forever to finish some of this stuff, but I don't care. I'm, I'm having a good time. So, um, souvenirs of the heart, Star Spangled Spectacular. So many people doing this one. Oh my goodness! I've probably seen at least ten other people on Instagram who have this one um, in their mania list, and I'm very proud to be one of them. And let's see. Here it is. This one, I believe, I'm using the call form. There we go. Yep. This one should really, it should go pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty small and uh, simple stitch. So, again, that's the coffee tea dyed Monaco. Country Cottage Needleworks, be thankful. This one I am doing on rip dyed mallow lemon so I'll show this to you and this was dyed with dark brown and uh, this is the bottom scroll work which is brown on the chart and I'm doing it in green so this is one of those that I've had for a while and was just really excited to have a reason to start it. Another one of those been waiting for a long time. 
is Country Cottage Needleworks Red, White, and Blue. I saw Priscilla's and Chelsea's last year, and I also saw um, Denise from Fat Quarter Shop. Instead of the brown scroll work at the top and the bottom, she did a lighter blue, and I absolutely thought that was the bomb. And so that's what I am doing. Uh, this is just tea dyed Monaco. I did it really fast and I didn't get the coffee out, I just did the tea. But there we go. Bloom. I probably got, I spent probably as much time on this one as I did on any other start so far. I just real I've been, I've really wanted to do this one for a while and so I spent quite a bit of time one day on this one. All right. The old crow sampler. I I love him. I think he's wonderful. And he's on the other side of the room. There he is. He doesn't have a tail yet, but he will. This I'm using, it calls for Weeks Onyx, and that's what I'm using. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Last night, I started Louise and Henry by Little House Needleworks. And yesterday was Sunday, and I spent all day Sunday after church yesterday morning, video church so ready so ready to be back with the family worshiping you know oh, one of those things that I think maybe we take for granted until it's gone and then you realize how important it is so after video church yesterday I spent hours working on a couple of different um, quilts so I'll show you those in a minute uh, so I didn't have a lot of stitching time last night, and just barely, on this same piece, just barely got it started. Just the beginnings of the border. Louise and Henry. Tonight, alright, so, huge Jane Austen fan. Huge. She's one of my favorite authors of all time. Plum Street has two different um, charts with quotes from Pride and Prejudice. And so I am so excited about this one. I can't wait to start stitching it this evening. That is a gentleman's daughter. That one will probably be one of my favorites of all time. I also have um, Caroline Bingley's quote um, the one about uh, the good library. So this one I start tonight. And so I'll show you that one in my next floss too. Um, other, one other thing that I've been working on uh, that I wanted to show you, and I guess it's sort of haul as well as other project, and that is a bloom chock full. Daisies are my favorite flower. I think daisies are the sweetest, happiest flower of all. And so I have daisies in my yard. I plant them everywhere, different kinds of daisies. And so um, way back when Priscilla first started showing this and, and um, there, was, there were the hints that were dropped you know, of the, um, you know, the different things that would be in each jar, there was a daisy on there. And I was, I've, so I've waited for this one for a long time. I'm so happy to be stitching this one. And this, this is the first one of the chalk holes that I've stitched on some of my dyed fabric. And so this is, here we go. Whoops, sorry. Bloom. One little flower. This is um, Monaco but it's uh, dyed with 
uh, black. And if you watched my uh, my videos when I, where I showed you a lot of my fabrics that I had dyed, um, this is one that I had to dye and re-dye and re-dye several times to get it this dark. And it's still not black black, which I really, I really kind of like. And let me show you the difference. This is the chalkboard Ada. Let's see if I can get it where it's not in the sun. That's the chalkboard Ada. And this is my, um, there we go, right there. This is the Rit Dyed Monaco. And I really, really do like the Rit Dyed Monaco. So there's just kind of a comparison. And others may like the Ada, and that's awesome. So you you work on what you enjoy. That's what this you know that's what makes this hobby uh, so much fun and, and so individual. We get to do the do it the way we like to do it. So um, haul that was a little bit of haul. I got the the bloom uh, kit from Fat Quarter Shop. I also picked up. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited about these. Summer, autumn, and winter from the Loose Feathers by Blackbird. I plan on stitching all of these uh, together. I'm ar I've already started gathering all of the, the flosses up, including the silks. And I've never stitched with silks. And I'm very excited about that. In fact, um, I placed an order with that quarter shop. Well place it back on May 1st and I just got the notification this afternoon that it had shipped and the and the silks are in that shipment. So excited. So if any of you have stitched with silk before and you have any recommendations, please let me know because I've never I've never done it before. I've only stitched with cotton. So I can't wait to feel it and to see how it stitches. I, I think I have heard several floss tubers say that you want to use shorter strands, but I don't know. I haven't done it myself. So if you have experience stitching with silk, please give me your tips and tricks because I would love to know what you think. Uh, what What's the best way to do that? And one other thing that I picked up um, and you know, I knew there were some other things that I had ordered, but I didn't get it out here. I'll have to do it next time. Um, this, this prairie schooler where the bees are, um, way back, um, before Easter, I had uh, shown my uh, rabbit run and someone commented, and thank you so much, I can't, I'm sorry, I should have looked, but um, I don't remember who it was, but they said, did you know that there was a, a bee uh, chart that looks a lot like Rabbit Run in the Quaker style? And I was not aware of that, and I went out and I found it at, I think I ordered this one from Fat Quarter Shop, it could have been one, two, three, stitch. I don't remember. Oh, just FYI, the, um, I got the, the charts, the Blackbird charts, the uh, summer, autumn, winter. I got those from Silver Needle in Tulsa. I also have an order from uh, uh, Beach Country. Is it Beach Country? Beach Cottage. Beach Cottage Stitchers. I've got an order in place with them. And I also have an order with Bits and Pieces, I believe it's called. Um, I haven't gotten that order. I haven't gotten either one of those orders yet. Um, but there's also, I don't know if you know this, just, a, they just re-released, um, another one in this same style. It was Christmas. So yeah, I got that one too. And I, I, I just now remembered that and I should have brought it out here, but I'll show it to you next time. All right. Um, that is all my stitching. I do have, um, my Derby House block of the month, and I have my uh, Moda block head. So if you're not interested in quilting, um, that you may want to 
cut off here, but um, if you enjoy quilting, I'll show you my uh, blocks for both of those. I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right, so um, last week, sometime, I'm starting to get a lot of sun here. Let me see if I can. Oops, I just scared my dog. Sorry about that, sweetie. Uh, okay, that's better. Um, last week, I got the May release for Derby House. So it's like, okay, I'm still stitching my April ones. I guess I better get done. So I spent yesterday finishing those up first. And these, and I'll, sh I'll have a picture at the end um, of all of these. Whoa, okay, I'll kind of hold them way back here. Um, we've got these little 25 patch, which those are so precious. Little bitty pieces. I I did not follow the instructions on on, uh, on these. I cut um, strips and I stripped these things. I saw no reason to cut out lots and lots of little tiny squares. So lots of 25 patch. There are those. Also, are these monkey wrench? I think these are monkey wrench. I can't remember for sure. There are four of these. I love the uh, the uh, uh, this new fabric by um, Minikin Simpson, and for the life of me, I can't remember what the name of the what the name of the line is, but um, I don't think it's maybe, but I don't think so. Um, but honestly, anything Minikin Simpson, um, they're red, white, and blue all the time, and they're wonderful. And then th those were the little five and a half inch blocks, or finished five inch blocks. Then there were three 15, or one with three different, uh, one pattern, one block done three ways um, of the 15 inch finished. Three, one, two, I love this one. I love those blues. And three. So, I did get the uh, the month three Derby House, and it has a another um, uh, another big, very big uh, applique block. So, Colleen. If you do doing another applique. I did not and am not doing the applique on motor block heads. And I explained why before. I just uh, I just want to keep these all pieced. Um, so I actually now have 15 of the 18 blocks done. Two of them were applique that I'm not going to do. And another one was paper pieced, and I, one of mine is paper. No, one of the ones I've done is paper pieced. I, I don't mind pa paper piecing at all. I do it a lot. I just didn't really care for the block. I wanted it. I wanted the blocks to be more consistently traditional. And this one, it, it said love, which was really nice, and I may make it into a pillow uh, someday. But I wasn't interested. And now my dog is. Um, I the two blocks that I have that I have done, I believe, since the last time, I showed my blockheads uh, blocks are these two. Uh, this one was by, I think this one was Corey Yoder's last week. This one was Sherry McConnell's the week before. All of mine, I'm doing uh, red, white, and blue with a, a lighter blue and obviously the pink. Um, this is all Sherry. All of the fabric that I'm using for blockheads is Sherry and Chelsea fabric. So um, I have not had a chance yet um, to finish my May block for Sherry McConnell's block of the month. Um, 
that one I will do sometime this week or this weekend. So uh, that's everything that I had to show you. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. If you, if you have any tips or tricks for stitching with silks, I would love for you to leave those for me. Uh, something, to something that's totally new for me. So I'm excited about getting started, but um, I want to learn from the rest of the community. So leave your tips and tricks. Um, and if you have any questions or if you have a comment, please leave it, like the video, subscribe. I really do appreciate everyone stopping by. Have a great week, everyone.